This is Geometry Chapter 4-7, Congruence and Overlapping Triangles. And we're going to identify what common parts are involved with overlapping triangles, using those common parts, and then separating the images of the overlapping triangles. And then the last example, we're going to use CPCTC, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, to pull information from once we prove that one pair of triangles are congruent and using that information to then apply to a second set of triangles that are congruent. So we're going to start out with this ex example where we have two overlapping triangles and we're supposed to prove that triangle ACD ACD is congruent to CAB so the pink triangle is congruent to the blue triangle and how we're going to do that there's the proof if we're given that CD is congruent to BA and then these blue lines, the whole line segment, not just these parts, but DA is congruent to BC. Now you can see right now in this image we've got one side and another, one side and another, so you've got two sides that are corresponding that are congruent. Well then these two triangles share the length the line segment CA. So by reflexive property we can say that CA is congruent to itself. Well that's going to give us the third side. So look side, side, side. These two triangles are congruent by side, side, side postulate. The trick is, is to identify first the shape, the, the image that the two triangles that are that are being that you're trying to prove that are congruent and then trying to find out what's in common between both of them. So CA is what's in common with both of them. Okay, next example. This triangle, we're given a, a, a perpendicular lines. We're given that the length in blue here, AB, is congruent to CB and you're also given that the length in black here, AD, is congruent to CE, those line segments and we're supposed to prove that, well, you're supposed to prove that this blue triangle is congruent to that yellow triangle, triangle ABD and CBE. Well, how are we going to do that? The trick is, is to identify that angle B is in common for both of them. So here's the proof. If you've got AB is congruent to CB, okay, and then AD is congruent to CE. Now look, we got a right angle, so look, that's the hypotenuse. That's the hypotenuse. And back with the ABs and the CBs, look, those are legs. So we have the situation where we have a, a perpendicular, you know, AB is perpendicular to CB, so that means that angle B has got to be a right angle, which is indicated there. B is congruent to itself, okay, shared between the two triangles so that now you have enough information to say that this blue triangle is congruent to this yellow triangle ABD and CBE because of HL theorem because you have a hypotenuse and a leg and a right angle hypotenuse a leg and a right angle okay next one this one's a little tougher this image on the left you're given that AB is congruent to CB the marks are there and AD is congruent to CD and there's double marks there and we're supposed to prove that this triangle in yellow is congruent to this triangle in pink and we don't have enough information to do that so what we need to do is look at the picture to the left and try to figure out what it is that we know and what it is we can prove based upon what's given so the trick is is to, is to visualize that we have enough information to use the side 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 postulate to show that this triangle here on the left ABD is congruent to triangle CBD on the right in blue because they have a shared side BD so you have side 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 postulate well I have that written out for you here I want to scoot to the end the big advantage why you're trying to to show that these two big triangles are congruent is that once you show that this triangle to the left is congruent to this one on the right you can pull information from it we can say that that angle CBE this angle right here 
ultimately in the end is going to be congruent to that one and then use that back for this triangle. That'll be additional information that would be really helpful. So let's go back to where, we're, where we are right now. Right now, you've got AB is congruent to CB, you have AD is congruent to CD, and then you have BD running up the center here, reflexive property, that this is shared between the two triangles. So then when you say that this side is congruent to itself, you now have side, 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 side postulate. So you can say that this triangle is congruent to that triangle. And then when we're done with that, then you can say that by CPCTC that those two angles are congruent. And we're going to use that in the next step. So we're bringing over this information from before that these two, these two angles are congruent by CPCTC. And now, look at the image that we're trying to prove this, this ABE, or excuse me, the letters are in the wrong order, BEA is congruent to BEC is what we're aiming for. So you now have this congruency here from before, this new congruency that we just got right here that's done, and now we have a shared side, BE, running up the middle here. So, so now, and I, I can say that BE is congruent to itself by reflexive property, and now we have side, angle, side, side, angle, side, to be able to prove that this triangle here, BEA, is congruent to this pink triangle, BEC. That's it for the lesson of overlapping triangles. Thank you for watching.